<laughs> what a problem, what a need. Is your mind in confusion? Got something to fix. Looking for a solution. <laughs> Gotta go investigate it, think it out, go design, get ready to create it. Check it in, check it over, try it out, go to test. If the problem is solved, this solution is best. <laughs> well, I hope I didn't give you guys a big fright. Well, anyway, hola, hola, hola to all you techno wizards on this side and that side. Now you're in the right place because every week round about now, me and the other techno bastards take you on a technological ride that you will never forget. And trust me, it is full with cool gadgets and toys and other things that you can make by yourself at home. And we also show you that technology and the technological process is the key. Yep, now in case you're joining us for the first time, the only thing you need to know right now are the words systems and controls. Now these have been the magic words that we've used for certain systems to create toys. Now we've been trying to find some toys that we can make for the Hope Center orphanage in Soweto. Now the guys out there need to have smiles on their faces. That's why we've asked you guys to keep on writing and it will be our quest to try and put a smile on each and every one of their faces. Speaking of which, my two guests right here in studio handpicked this letter, which I think basically starts to show us pretty nicely. So guys, please, say what's up to the texters chilling at home. Hi, my name is Kai. Hi, my name is CJ. Cool! Now well, guys, I am so sorry that I gave you guys such a big fright. Well, actually, I'm not. But it's a long story. But now the next letter comes from Tandy, and it goes a little something like this. Hi, my name is Tandy, and I come from Soweto. I love the show very much, and I think it is a special thing that the techno buses are doing for the kids at the Hope Center who have no mommies and daddies. They already have nice toys, but I've got an idea for another one. My daddy was telling me about how they used to make pop-up toys when they were young, and it was fun. Hmm. So I thought maybe you can buy one for everyone at the center. I think they are very hard to make. Well, I hope you like my idea. Love, Tandy. Well, yep, thank you so much for your letter, Tandy. I mean, we love your idea, but no can do. I mean, we just don't have the money to buy a toy like that for each and every child at the Hope Center. Oh, that's a pity. Can't we try and make them? Make them? Well, sure we can make them. But there's a world, there's a way, Mfana. You know, all we need to do is look at the toys technological system and we'll be able to make something just like it. Serious? Serious. I mean, it is not even hard to do. All you need to do is follow a technological process. Okay, so yeah, we have a box. But now, what do you guys think is in the box? I think it's empty. I think it's got clothes inside. I think you guys are unlucky because you're both wrong. Now watch this. Cool! Oh. <laughs> and you guys thought we couldn't do it. <laughs> but how? Well, that's what today's show is all about. What we're going to make is pop-up toys for the kids at the Hope Center. Stuff that's going to make them smile. <laughs> ah, and scream. Well, you know what? You guys just need to keep on investigating. So have a look at the box and make drawings of how you think it's going to work, right? Can't you give us a clue? Hmm, let me see. Remember the first toy that we made for the Hope Center? The puppet set move. For sure, like those. Those two also have a moving system. Well, our techno buster hit the streets and summed this up, so check it out. It seems like ages ago when we received our very first letter from Porsche, and since then we've been making toys to bring miles of smiles to the children at the Hope Center. Our very first toy had a moving system. I wonder if you remember what we needed to do to make it move. Pivot. A point around which a lever moves. Lever. Do you remember a single bar that has a pivot point is a lever? But to make the puppet work, we joined levers together. So in a nutshell, joining levers and pivots makes the puppet's arms and legs move. 
Remember we used the lever to lift a person? I reckon the same idea could work for a pop-up toy. Well on that, back to you at the workshop. Well, I techno! Well, it is all coming back to me, guys. So have a look inside the box. Okay, now this is very simple, but I just put a toy and the plank inside. Now the plank is the lever. I put a pivot pin there. Now when I push on this side, the other side lifts and the door goes right up in the air. It's so easy. And that is all thanks to technology. It solved problems, guys. But now I'm sure you guys know what happened next. Yep, this is the workshop and you still with Techno Busters. Now while Carl and Sita are busy designing their pop-up toys, our Techno Buster hit the streets to get inspired. Here at the Miles of Smiles Club, everybody's designing what's going to pop up out of their box. What are you guys thinking? I'm going to have a fairy come out of my box. Mine's going to be a snake, a big bad snake. Won't that be scary? Uh-huh. I'm going to put glitter on my fairy so it looks pretty. <laughs> Aliens are going to come out of my box. OK. I'm going to have a rock that blasts into the sky. Mmm, good idea. I'm going to have a shooting star that will blast into space. Brilliant! It seems like we've got rocket scientists in the making. What do you think about that, Techno? Well, thank you so much for your ideas, Techno Buster. Now, the guys here in the workshop love the rocket ship so much that they decided to make one of their own. So, what's up, Carl? Cool. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. If you press on your lever, the rocket ship will shoot straight up. But now, what are we waiting for? It's time for us to test what we've made. OK, here goes. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't go up in the air. Well, that obviously means that we have a problem, which means we need to... Well, if you look closely right here, you'll see that the problem is the pivot point. If you put the pivot too close to the rocket, then the load arm moves only a short distance, and it hardly lifts the rocket. You see, if you put the pivot close to this end, when you hit on the lever, then the load arm is long. Now, when you hit the lever, the load arm moves a long way, very quickly, and up goes the rocket. So you don't always put the pivot in the middle of the lever. You can choose where to put the pivot to make the lever do whatever you want it to do. Now, Kylie has been trying to solve the problem on getting his rocket to pop up very fast. He's found the right place to put his pivot. He's put the pivot in different places to test it. So now, Carl, have you found your point? Yes, yeah, sure, watch. Whoa, good work, my man. Now, what have you made, Sita? I made a doll. Wow, I mean, it moves its hand, and it even moves in a straight line. But now what I want to know, how was Sita able to make that happen? This is like the lever that sends the rocket up. Sita has found the right place to put the pivot, and you can see the dog goes right up when she pushes the lever down. By adding another pivot and a piece that pushes upwards, and a guide, the dog can move up and down in a straight line. Now, two pivots have been used to make this work. Yep, good work at the workshop. Now we've decided to make the guys at the Hope Center rocket toys and the girls dolls. But now what I'm still trying to figure out is how was Sita able to make the dolls arm move? Do you guys at home think you know how she did this? Well, let me give you a clue. It has a pivot and also uses an elastic band. So guys, please send us your drawings to Techno Buses if you, you might think you know. Well, anyway, I just want to say the guys at Ipileng are becoming techno wizards. Hey, but that's all the time we have for you guys today. I mean, time just flies when you're having fun. So, guys, please keep on writing in. So, for myself, the workshop, and the rest of the techno busters, until next time, bye!